Oh, you Let me pro. No. So, Chad, no, no. welcome back no. to the channel. <laughs> this is Chad's channel. <laughs> Chad's channel. No, man. So, we are on charter. The guests aren't doing much, so we've got a little bit of time to do some fishing. Very exciting fish here. Catching some guppies. <laughs> in, in, yeah, catching some bait for the bait, <laughs> basically. Oh, what do you reckon, Ding Dong? Yeah, yeah, it's good. No, it's actually caught one earlier. I had a photo I posted on the group. I don't know if you saw it. But yeah, I, I did see the photo. I was very impressed. Yeah. It was. Um, it looked bigger in the water. But it was like what that size when it came out. Yeah. Yeah. Slav said uh, the engineer. If you guys don't know who Slav is, you pretty much do. The bullet, aka okay, the bullet. Yeah, yeah. He says uh, if Chad catches enough, that he will. Um, like ten or fifteen. Ten or fifteen, he'll make some lunch out of it. So that's what we're gonna do. Ah. Yeah. He's gonna serve them up to the chef and be like, "What do you think of these? Fry them up. Yeah. Fish. What's it? What's it? Fish. Fish fries. Fish fries. What's that bullet? There's the, there's the bullet, look at him coming out, coming out of his hole, loves it. Coming out of his hole. <laughs> and his catch wants the camera, eh? They don't seem very hungry, Chad. The viewers are waiting for you to catch no, something. No, no. The pressure, the pressure is on. <laughs> you know what, not a bad place to be doing a little bit of fishing. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel and welcome back to the vlog. If you're new to the channel, a big warm welcome. My name is Tristan Mortlock, we've got Harold Ding Dong, we've got Chaz Jones, Jones, Chaz Channel, <laughs> and we've got the bullet behind us down there. And this is Captain's Vlog. The reason I'm talking very low is because we've got guests upstairs. They're having finishing breakfast, I think. And uh, there's yeah. not much really happening on this charter. There's not much to film because they don't actually do anything. Uh, the most exciting part of our day is watching Chad fish for fish about that size which then he throws back into the water. Exciting time. But, no, 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 but no, no, look no. at the scenery though, yeah, isn't it? It's beautiful. My exciting time is actually when I get to take a guest for a walk. Oh yes. That is really fun. Well, On uh, the chase boat. Time. Yeah, we go walkie time, don't we? <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, that's fun. I get to once, once a day? Yeah, once a day. Yeah. It tends to be around um, five four, four o'clock. Four, four thirty. Yeah, and yeah. he goes for an hour and a half, which is pretty cool. So I go I get to drop lines, come away from uh, the AWOP, go around the corner, come alongside, he gets off, and then I have to go pick up a mooring boy because I can't stay there. I tried to stay there, but the guys want to sell me fish. So, yeah. Anyway, you know, gonna, why I'm buy fish when you've got fish right here? Yeah, exactly. Well, I'm actually taking James today uh, to look at these fish because this guy has constantly spoken to the charter guest, and the charter guest has gone to James and said, oh, please, could we maybe get some fish? So I'm taking James for a little, a little look stroll at this later. Fish today, yeah. Okay. Well, let me you know when you go, because I would like to go with you as well. well to get some different footage and being in the same spot for the last five days. They're not very adventurous. Um, but anyway, look, it's their charter, they're the guests, they decide what they want to do. But um, nothing's been touched, no paddle boards, no kayaks, no inflatables, no sea bobbing. Oh, no, 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 and bustle during these trips for, for the crew. Only two guests for 15 days. It's it like nuts, it's nuts. We're going a little bit mad because they don't want to go into the port either, so we've been at anchor tied to the rocks. We can't even get off, go for a walk, go for a run, just go for a beer or something. Um, but anyway, we've, we're counting down the days. We've got two more days. Oh. We've dropped them off in Dubrovnik and then we've got a nine, okay. 10 hour journey up to Split where we have a day turnaround and then pick up the next guest. It'll be a bit more adventurous for yeah. the youngsters there, so all the water sports, the days will go quicker, a lot more fun for everybody. Yeah. And look, here we go, a little fish coming up now. There we go, there we go. It's got, it's got some action. Exciting. 
the viewers must be thinking, why, why are we watching this guy fish for little tiny fish? <laughs> I'm sorry guys, there's not much else going on to be honest with you. Um, how long have we been there? Five days now? Yeah. In this one spot? Yeah, we had oh no, we had to move. Yeah. We were there, or we had to move to here. Yeah, it was literally move, move, 100 meters that way. We had a little bit of action last night. Okay. If you're aware, one of the lines dro dropped. Oh yes, it did. It slipped off because yeah, the weight off, came, yeah. didn't it? So we had to go and reattach that. Found some new rock. Chad, okay. uh, I look like a good rock you got there, yeah, Chad. Cool. <laughs> he, did, he did good. He explored the rocks for a while. And then he found a solid one. Yeah. 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 Really exciting. I've done a video before with the guys on the bridge, they did the whole intro. If you haven't seen that video, I'll put a link just here, it's quite funny. The boy's doing oh, paper, oh, rock, scissors. Oh, oh, he's got something. Yeah. What? Yeah, boy. Well done. Yeah, boy. Slab, you happy? <laughs> <laughs> I've got your lunch. Get the deep fat fryer out. Yeah, bucket, bucket, bucket. Yeah, ding dong, really slow. Oh, I wonder. <laughs> slow today, guys. So that is today's entertainment. Um, yeah, <laughs> exciting video. I'm, I'm sorry, guys. I know you watch it because you want to have informative, educational, be on the go. But sometimes it is like this. This is reality. I want to show you guys what it's actually like. And it's some days it's like this. Um, so yeah, I think uh, that will conclude. No, actually. On the next scene now, we'll be on the chase boat going, be some action. So, action. yeah, I'll do the cliche 54321 thing and then put my hand on the lens. 54321, hand on the lens. Boom, just like that, we are back on board the chase boat, chasing AWOL with the boys. We've got Shepard Rins. He's wearing normal crew uniform today. Ding dong, El Capitano of the chasing AWOL. Let's get the lighting right. And in the background, we got the beautiful AWOL over there. So what we're doing now, we're doing a bin run. I don't think we showed you guys on the channel how we do a bin run here on board AWOL. So we basically get all our bin liners from the storage, we leave it on board. We go to shore and then we put them in the correct bins. So part of being here in Miet in the national park is you have to pay a fee and the fee includes dropping off the, the garbage and then it pays all the rangers and people to look after it so it's fair enough and it's beautiful and it's worth it and then what else are we doing chef we're going to go and get some crayfish crayfish or lobster one of the two crayfish or lobster exciting times yeah what do you prefer uh personally crayfish is that, are they both the same to cook uh, similar to cook here, yeah, and okay. similar kind of thing. One's got claws, one doesn't. Yeah. But I've grown up eating crayfish, and that's what we used to get back home. So that's generally what I prefer cooking and eating. Nice. Yeah. Ding. Good yeah. to be back out on chasing again. Yeah, always been a busy day. Always lovely to be back on out on this beauty and actually see something other than uh, the same surroundings that we're seeing every day. Yeah. Look, it is a beautiful spot where we are, and I don't want to sound uh, miserable or take it for granted, but seeing the same like area all the time yeah. gets a little bit, a little bit boring. Like, I hear you. So this is great. Be back on the sea. Cruise there at six knots because it's limited in here, uh, but it's better than three, better than yeah. two. Absolutely. <laughs> oh, ding dong.
so. Here we have it, got some old ruins here. And then amongst the ruins, see where the bins. Ah, okay. There we go, the bins. That one was a bit full. There we have it. Happy days. How glorious, beautiful this place is. To get some, I keep changing the lighting. I'm on manual mode with the camera settings. And the boys chasing. Dud, dud, dud. Get back on board. See how the ding dong does it, the master chase boat handler. Laka laka. Yeah. I got taught this maneuver by Captain. Uh, I was on the river Lizzie and I. You said to me one thing you should always do is reverse out of the situation. Always. Yeah. So that was the one one advice you gave me, and it stuck with me, T Dog. Good. Actually, let's get some of it. Right, guys. It's now advice hour. Advice hour. Advice hour. For those of you that are driving boats for the first time, maybe you're tired alongside. Avoid coming out bow first, first, always come out stern first because you're taking your engines away from the danger. The danger being the big concrete wall that you're about to crash into. Remember the vessel doesn't turn like a car, it turns I think like a forklift that has sting at the back. So the back will go into the wall if you try and go out um, bow first. So that's today's advice. You can take it on board or you can crash your boat, it's up to you. Look at that. One engine forward, one in reverse. I have to give these ones a little bit of power. As yeah, they're, they're too the close together. Close together, so it doesn't actually do anything. Yeah. Yeah. So when they sound like they're revving, well, they, they are. They are. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And it is on purpose. Yeah, I know, Laka. So now we're going to go wait to the bit, the other bins, or no, to the restaurant. Have a little look at the restaurants. Go have a little look at the fish. Um, when I take Mr. P for his walk during that time, it'll give me something to do. So I'll go drop the bins and chat. Okay. Yeah, rather than just picking up more and more floating around. Nice. Quite a pretty place, eh? Shame. It's so. It's super quiet here. I'm not sure how people are surviving, to be honest with you. You know, saying, so, sorry, to interrupt. Yeah, saying, go on. Saying that, I spoke to um, the guys here, as obviously I've been coming in and out, and I, I mentioned it being quiet, and they said it's only oh. been quiet for the last uh, three days. Before that, it was absolutely rammed in here. Okay. So, um, yeah, I don't think it's COVID that has affected it, because they were they said every single berth all the way along was Which... super, super busy. Oh, before. wow. Okay. Yeah. So, But now, as you can see, it's super empty. Yeah. Are we docking here? Yeah, we are. We're going to come alongside right here. On port side, yeah? On port side, yeah. Get the lines ready again. What a boss. You dock like a boss, like Ding Dong. You keep them in here? You keep the fish in here? Oh my goodness, guys, check this out. Five sides, so there's sides right there. Go for a swim, Chef. You can swim down and grab it. <laughs> they're, all, they're all in hiding. Ah, oh, look, he's a, he's a smart man. He's got the net. Like all their fresh fish on the dock, in the water. That's amazing. They hate you. <laughs> so they know, they know that you sell them to get cooked, that's why. How's that? Oh, look at that. Beautiful. What do you reckon, guys? 
Which one do you though? reckon? How many are you getting? One? Probably two. Sorry. How's that? It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Beautiful. Yeah. He's going a little on the little wonder. That one. This guy's is in the corner. Give it a little kiss there, chef. No thanks. <laughs> what do you reckon, Dingle? That's pretty cool, huh? Yeah, yeah, it's really cool. Yeah. What do you reckon guys? It's uh right on the dock, they leave the, the fish fresh in there. You come, you collect it. We're literally anchored around the corner here, so it's fresh as you get. Fantastic. And you get to pick your own. Fresh as they come. Fresh as they come. Ding dong loves it. <laughs> well, I like watching uh, Chef pick them up. I tell you what, this video's got a lot more interesting now than the fishing this morning. I think so, yeah. I hope the viewers are liking it. Let us know. What do you think, guys? I know the start of the video is a bit slow, but uh, what? Oh my god! That's, I don't know if you guys can see this on the camera. That's huge. One of the big ones. Oh my god! Uh, oh my god! What is that? Massive. Um, if you've got a sea bass, like a smaller sea bass. Smaller sea bass. You have two guests on board. There we go. Are these the ones we're taking? No, what should we name these guys? They're there, and just you get, you come, you choose what you want, you pay your money, you get back on board, head to the boat, prep chefs, prep chefs, chef preps, and then dinner is served as fresh as it gets. Oh, careful! Don't go. You don't want to fall in there with the fish. They'll chow you down, chef. You're like, you want to eat us? We're going to eat you. <laughs> Do you reckon they live here all year round? We come into the kitchen. Wiggle, wiggle. Completely fresh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's a feisty one, huh? Oh, and I have eight, nine. Perfect. Okay. So that's how we do it. Um, I think it's uh, possibly time for some drone B roll. What do you guys reckon? Get some drone shots this area? Elia? I can't talk today. Get some drone shots of this area. Raise some B roll, ding dong. Yeah, 100%. Do you want to do the countdown? Okay, do five, four, three, two, one, and put your hands on the lens. Guys, ready for this? This is the Ding Dong special countdown. Ready? Five, four, three, two, one. Boom.
we're now coming back to the mighty AWOL. So we're going to conclude today's video. Really hope you enjoyed it. If you did, I'd appreciate the thumbs up button. If you want to see more content like this, do consider subscribing. But for now, from Ding Dong, Chef Maroons, and uh, Chad's channel's not here at the moment, and the rest of the team, look forward to seeing you all next time. See you. Ciao.